Hi everyone, hope everybody got back safe from Oshkosh. We did in the helicopter yesterday, another two day trip, uh, 9.6 coming back versus 11.3 up hour wise. So it was a much shorter trip, much more fun. But uh, we got back to the Atlanta oven. Anyway, uh, some of you said, don't forget about us with the RV videos while we were up there in Oshkosh. Really enjoyed meeting all of you. So I uh, thought we'd show you a couple things here quickly this morning. So uh, this RV tent came to us. And uh, one of the first things we noticed was that the broken rudder stopped right here. We're seeing that. I think I, I showed you a video here a couple weeks ago on one. You can see it's broken here. It's already damaged the rudder. So we'll order a more solid part there and put that in. Uh, the whole rudder is going to have to come off and disconnect everything to fix that. Basically what happens, you know, that's uh, get blown in the wind, parked on the ramp and the wind will blow and bust those rudder stops. So really not strong enough from vans on the RV-10. The other thing uh, it's interesting here, uh, a pilot other than the owner flew it in and his comment was, boy, it really takes a lot of left rudder. And uh, so what we noticed, hmm, the customer and owner never complained. And you know, you've heard me talk about this, you own your own airplane and things just kind of deteriorate and you really don't notice it over time. In this case, I, when, and I was playing with the rudder to look at this and what I noticed, is this rudder always wants to go off to the right. So that's why it's kind of taken a lot of left rudder in flight. There's something mechanically in the cockpit, and we'll explain to you what we discovered here in a bit. But also this trim tab here seems a little bit large for an RV-10. You can see it's on the left side, which does push the rudder off to the right. You wanna set this up. We're gonna to explain to the owner how to go test fly this. It usually takes about three or four flights. And you just keep shortening this thing till you get it fixed for ball centered in the uh, one true airspeed that you'll be flying at and usually up high in cruise airspeed. That's the only time it will really work a fixed trim tab. It'll keep the ball centered at one fixed true airspeed. So we'll show them how to do that. So a little bit of Dick Tracy work and what we figured out inside the cockpit where there were two springs attached to the instrument panel to the overhead tubes on the rudder bar. So a poor man's rudder trim system, you know, the springs age, or maybe they don't work the same. So right now you've got one of the springs pulling too hard to the right. <coughs> Excuse me, we're gonna take those springs off. So that'll take care of this problem. You adjust this and it'll be all set. Let's go talk about the Bristol. Hi, so one other thing, not RV related, other than it is a 912, it's on a Bristol. And uh, the guys had to replace a complete engine mount here, which is basically an engine removal and installation. So one of the things I wanna caution everybody when you're doing that is make certain you always check before you pull your propeller through before you engage the starter. There are certain gaps that need to be checked and set, such as your ignition pickup coils, and uh, otherwise you can do a lot of damage. So we managed to catch that by pulling it through. We're in the process now of adjusting those gaps. All right, have a good one, enjoy the week.